Hello, it is Thursday, August 2nd, 2012 at 11.22 p.m. Central Time. I want to show you something interesting I found. I have a screenshot from IntelliCast at 23.35 Eastern Time on August 2nd. And I've got the earthquakes and wildfire detection turned on. And what I, I did is I did a copy of the screen and pasted it in Paint and then I started connecting the dots. And I've already connected a couple of them here. What we're looking at is earthquakes um, worldwide or at least you know, most of the world. I, I've only got a portion of it. But the red earthquakes are, from what I understand, the last six hours. The orange ones are the last the six hours before that, and yellow are the six hours before that. And you can go on and telecast and hover over each of these, and it'll give you the time for each one. But what I've done is kind of targeted similar size earthquakes. The size of the dot also indicates the size of the earthquake. And I found a pattern that's really interesting. I've already connected this one here here, here, and this it's the dot behind. That's why it looks like I missed, but that's the center of the one behind it, and this here. And this, this forms a perfect 120 degree angle. And that in itself wouldn't be such a big thing, except for when I go and connect these yellow ones, which are a couple six hours before that, and going to the, yeah, you can see that, to the earthquake, the second earthquake, the middle one here, Going to this one over here, and this one over here, we get a perfect square in perspective. Um, if you were to look at this, and 120 degrees is something that you use when you do perspective drawing. And so then if I go and I take, let's switch over to purple here, and I connect this earthquake down with the corner of this one here, it just goes right through the corner of this 120 degree angle. And then when I take and connect these orange earthquakes, there's also one here in Hawaii. You can't see it very well. It's hidden behind the fire. It's a smaller one. I connect it to this one over here. Something interesting about this is there's a fire in line, four fires in right near this line. This one, this one, this one, and this one. And I found that these fire things don't necessarily mean fire. Um, so, so they're actually something else that's triggering the IntelliCast or the radar into thinking that there's a fire. But then I also go and connect these two large yellow earthquakes. Right here and here. There's a red one on top of it, but the other one's there. You get this, um, you get right angles. See, right here you get a right angle here and here. And these two lines are parallel. So this is kind of a really interesting geometric pattern that we're getting here. And also, in addition to all that, I'm going to change over to white here. If I take the New Madrid, which is right here, and actually there's a storm right here right now in northern Kentucky, southern Illinois, right by near the New Madrid area. But if I take that and connect it, it runs right, right into, this. if I line up these two earthquakes, it's in line with those two earthquakes that just recently happened. So I'm not sure what all this means, but um, God doesn't do things geometrically. Well, I mean, he does, but um, man is the one that takes and has to mathematically break everything down. And, and that's one of the ways you know that you're, you know, you're deviating from what God does. While he does do perfect math in things, I don't think he sets off earthquakes this way. So Anyway, there you have it. God bless you. Have a good rest of the night.